welcome. So if you are just joining in, my name is Amanda. I am a transformational coach and I really consider myself a courage catalyst. So what is a courage catalyst? I really help people step into their authentic self, find their voice, and encourage people to follow their dreams. So today, what we're going to be talking about is autopilot. How do you know if you are running on autopilot? Autopilot, you are probably dependable. You are probably calculated. You are well-planned. Everything has a routine. It has a ongoing um, pattern that you can almost predict at, before it even happens. So your friends may know you as reliable. They know that you can, um, they can count on you. Now, these are amazing traits, don't get me wrong. But there is a very fine line between being responsible and dependable for your friends and going to the extreme side where everything is overly calculated, planned, there's no risk, there's no fun. So if you feel like people tell you that you're too dependable, too reliable, too uh, planned out, if you have ever had anyone kind of say to you like they can predict what you're going to do before you do it, chances are you're living on autopilot. You get up in the morning, you have your morning routine, you go to work, you take the same route to work every day, you come home, you have one to two different options for dinner, you eat the same thing all the time, you go to the same places, you have the same people around you. It's like Groundhog Day on auto repeat. And it just goes and goes and goes. You don't have passion, excitement, there's nothing going on that really fires you up. You're on autopilot. So what happens when you're living on autopilot and you're just doing everything in a routine that kind of keeps you right here? Can you recognize can you recognize that when you, what happens when you're living right here and you're not stepping out of that comfort zone, that routine, you start to get bored. It's predictable. You know it's going to happen. And Deep inside, you know there's more. You know that you want to do more. You don't know what more looks like. You're afraid to do more, but you want to. And so then your mind starts kind of going on this back and forth roller coaster of trying something new, staying where it's safe. Trying something new, staying where it's safe. And it just goes up and down. So you're missing out on all of those things that you want to try because you're concerned about staying safe, predictable. Um, at one point, your subconscious mind taught you that how to be safe. Maybe something happened, it protected you, and then it continues to protect you. The problem is when it becomes overprotective and limits you, because you don't want to be limited. You want to be expansive. So... We talked about how to recognize autopilot. Now we want to talk about how to overcome autopilot. So you want to start enjoying life, right? You want to start doing things that fill your heart, fill your soul, get you excited, get you passionate. You find your, your, your destination, your life calling, whatever it might be. Now you got to step into it. So first thing you need to do is stop listening to negative people. Many times there's going to be people that hold you back. And they don't believe in what you want to do. Um, they think that it's crazy. Um, a perfect example of someone not believing in you. When I left my corporate job and started a business, everyone's like, what are you thinking? You need to get a job. You need a paycheck. You need to um, have that income coming in. But I needed to follow my passion. So if I had listened to what everyone else said about their fears, those weren't my fears. That was their fears. I wouldn't have stepped forward. So there's times when you need to listen to others, get feedback, but there's also times that you need to listen to yourself and trust your intuition because it's there. It comes up for you. But many times we doubt our intuition and we don't believe that we actually have the, um, the knowledge or the power to make that decision. So you need to trust yourself. 
Stop listening to the negative people because that's stuff that they can't do. It doesn't mean you can't do. That's stuff they're afraid of, not that you're afraid of. So they're imposing their negative thoughts on you, which is, again, keeping you safe on autopilot. So if the people that are you're surrounded by are constantly negating your dreams, you need to bring yourself to new people. You need to get a new group of people, maybe join a meetup group or something. Get people around you that encourage you, that lift you up, because that's what keeps you on your track. If you have someone that's constantly bringing you down, their energy is draining you, you need to rethink the time and energy you spend with this person, because it's harming you from moving forward. Um, you also need to work on overcoming self-doubt. So again, your subconscious was taught at one point or another to keep you safe. So when it was keeping you safe from whatever happened in your past, it held on to that pattern and now it's on auto repeat for a bunch of different things. You need to separate yourself and start focusing forward on what has happened, on what can happen, I should say, instead of what has already happened. So not focusing on the regrets, not focusing on the past, not focusing on what went wrong. Focus on the solution. Focus on moving forward. And as you focus on moving forward, now you can take the steps. If you have a big goal that you want to achieve, something that feels unattainable, you break it into small amounts. And each time that you do a small step forward, you're rebuilding your confidence and the faith in yourself and quieting the negative thoughts in your mind. It's quieting the self-doubt because you taught yourself you can do it. You take one step forward and you're like, oh, I got this. Now you can take two steps forward. I did it. And then you take three steps forward and it builds momentum. So that's what you have to do. When you're feeling stuck, you need to build momentum. Um... And it's a forward thinking process. You need to think of what's possible. What could happen? Where is this going? What do I need to do? Everything is forward. There's times, of course, we all have to reflect because there's lessons to be learned. But if you're staying in the past, you're not growing. Get the lesson, learn from the, what happened, move forward. And lastly, which this is so important, is if you have been living on autopilot. Look around you. Are you accumulating possessions over experience? Think about that. Years from now, are you going to remember this favorite pocketbook that you bought, the top of the line, you know, watch that you bought? Or do you want to experience life? Do you want to travel? Do you want to go to school? Not everyone has the same path as far as their experiences. Everyone's experiences are different. But experiences create memories, and memories are what you hold on to and what you remember and what you share with others. If you're focusing on obtaining possessions, possessions are only a temporary void when you're missing connection and people and self-fulfillment in your life. Those items are filling voids, but they're not something that you're going to carry with you and remember. So focus on obtaining experience over possession. Remember that. So these are ways that you can recognize autopilot and auto and overcome autopilot. I also want to talk about a program I have coming up. In May, I have a program called the Empowered Living Program. This is one of the many things that we cover. I do offer one-to-one -one coaching, but my Empowered Living program is really balancing all aspects of your life, aspects of your mindset, and really helping you create a balance in your life of strength and courage to move forward and having different tools to pull from when you're feeling down. So if you're curious about the Empowered Living program, you can visit my website. It's empowerlifecoach.com forward slash ELP, Empowered Living Program. Um, any questions, feel free to post it here. I'm happy to check back. Um, I have a couple of requests for specific topics. So if there's something you'd like me to talk about, I'm going to be taking requests from people and adding that into my daily periscope. So again, it was great connecting with all of you and have an amazing day.